I'm Emily from Get Offset, and I'm here today to talk about the Chase Bliss Automaton, Automaton, Automaton Preamp Mark II. It's the famous pedal with flying faders. I've been, as I think a lot of people in music are, uh, obsessed with flying faders since I was a little kid and first saw them in like movies and music videos. And I think that just that magic never stops being like exciting. So this is a collaboration with Benson Amps. And this is the first Benson Amp pedal, their preamp, based on their, uh, I think it's pronounced Chimera, Chimera, Chimera uh, Amps. Um, and I have demo, a demo of that. Uh, on the channel and I've used it in a couple videos. It's a really lovely preamp that can do low and high gain really, really well. Um, very, very sought after kind of pedal and very <laughs> excitingly comes in lots of different fun designs. My personal favorite is the one they have is an exclusive with Thunder Road guitars that's based on the very famous carpet at the Portland airport. But I digress. This is <laughs> really kind of a feat of modern engineering it has, it's a dirt pedal with uh, lots of gains, uh, lots of uh, settings to go through. And like any Chase Bliss pedal, it's, you ha it's like learning a new language in a way to, to figure out what, what you're working with and how, what, what different things do. Uh, I've had this pedal for a couple of days, been playing it, really am impressed so far. And the more you play it, the more you're like, okay, I, I, I understand how to get these sounds out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the settings, uh, maybe play through the presets. There are, there's room for 30 presets on board and three separate banks. So you hold down this to move from one bank to the next. So uh, you saw the move there if the camera is on, which it is. And uh, so let me just talk about the things. Let's just talk about the things. This, as you can see, is volume. And uh, even with just volume as a boost, it's driving my Strymon Iridium, uh, which is on the round C setting. No gain, just completely clean, as clean as that pedal will get it, so. Next we have treble and we have bass. So it's my understanding and I could be wrong. Uh, when they're in the middle here, this is basically like the mid level and then you cut or you boost those frequencies. So. And then you have the gain, and that's this is gain to, to nothing. kind of buttons they're called arc arcade style buttons here understandably um this one this first one is it, it it's for help with live stuff um there's already videos about how you use this but basically when it's blue and you hit the preset switch it'll go straight to the zero and if it's at five it'll go back to five it's it's probably really helpful if you're jumping between a few different preset sounds in a single song um, but I'm not going to really screw around with it too much. The next one is the mids. And you saw I didn't mess with the mids at all. And it's because you have to turn on the mids to get to use them. The original Benson preamp pedal doesn't even feature mids. It just has uh, volume, high, low, well, treble, bass, and gain. Uh, so you turn this setting on if you want 
the mids, and those are going to happen either before or after the Benson preamp. So blue is before the preamp. Again, middle is not more, not less. It's just kind of your EQ, equilibrium. <laughs> Um, and then you can control the frequency of the meds. Up is, I think, uh, 4,000 hertz and down is 150. So let's just go ahead and boost the meds and kind of slide it along. Uh, and then uh, let's listen to it after. tell the difference between putting the mids before or after the uh, the preamp and sometimes you can't <laughs> uh, it's one of the cooler things about this puddle is how much things that these like secret sauce kind of things sort of interact with each other speaking of mids the next one controls the uh, I think that might be called the parametric curve. It's been a really long time since I've been taking recording technology, but it basically sets this frequency range of the meds that you're cutting or boosting to either kind of like a wide, a narrow or very narrow uh, parametric curb, uh, curve, <laughs> which I learned about at the Mike Curb Music Business School at Belmont University. Um, so I really like playing with this. I think the more natural sounds are with a wider curve for sure, and that's the default. And then let's uh, narrow them and kind of see how that sounds. So this is sort of the middle option for that EQ curve. So we'll start with a big boost. Oh, let me turn on the meds also. So this is the wider one again. And you can go narrower still. I saw somebody on Reddit do this thing where they were, um, they had like a MIDI controller set up and that was making all these faders kind of go up and down. And I'm like, that would be really, really fun, especially with uh, the, the mids on either pre or post with that very narrow uh, parametric curve. <laughs> Um, so the next one here is these are optional clipping diodes, either silicone or germanium.
then last but certainly not least, fuzz. You have a, an open fuzz, open fuzz in blue, and then a gated fuzz in red. stuff a lot of stuff to think about um, it comes with 10 presets already loaded in which are all really fun so let's get to those Oof. that's really cool Try this with different clipping diodes. Try this with the mids pose now. Reduce that pair that curve.
Uh-huh. You can hear what a difference it can make putting the mids before or after the preamp. That was before and we're gonna do after. parametric curve. This is in the middle. Some of the differences you'll hear in different settings <laughs> on this pedal. It's wild. show you what the jump feature does now. So when it's blue, it'll jump to zero. Nice. And when it's red, and then it'll turn off, and then when it's red, it'll jump to five. Ooh. of laughing at the idea of me playing essentially cowboy chords on a very expensive, probably the most technologically advanced dirt pedal on the market right now. And on my hand-built, custom-made uh, tuna tone by Layla City up in Alberta, Canada. Thank <laughs> you. 
last one. now um thanks for watching uh please like subscribe comment below uh check out the chase bliss automaton preamp mark II. check out tune Town by layla city check out transit lab cables these two are based out of canada um yeah so i'm <laughs> the, I, I mean for the record i did buy this pedal with my money uh <laughs> uh it's really, really cool. It requires 500 MA of power. They can't guarantee it'll sound good under 400 MA of power. Uh, so you're gonna need your Strymon Ohis and stuff like that to power the sucker um, if you're not using a wall wart. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. It's also kind, kind of on the big side. This is my hand over the pedal. My beautiful, lovely fingers. It's a big pedal. I'm um, going to clear some room and get a different kind of power supply if I want to keep this on my board, um, which I probably do. Uh, I can't wait until uh, I get a MIDI controller because I think there could be even more fun things to be had with this pedal with that. I think that the idea of screwing around with the mids uh, <laughs> during a song just like haphazardly if you're doing something noisy. I think that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> and it, it kind of makes me happy to just think about the noise making. But anyway, that's enough yammering. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. My name is Emily. Until next time, goodbye.